What's up, everybody? Hopefully, this motherfucker is working. Mm. Mm, I don't know yet. I'll find, I'll let you know. Okay. So what's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. We are down here, girl. Um, oh, I'm sitting on my headphones here. Gotta take my other headphones out. Got my Keisha. She's on the scene, sitting upright. Um, I'm just down here, girl. Put my other headphones away. I had to make my my mushroom coffee. I was looking like, am I about to get another one? Did I sign up for it to be monthly? Because I'm about to run out. I'm about to run out already. That's how much I've been drinking. It's so good to me. And I really think it's the way that I season it. <laughs> it's really the way that I season it. So I've been making little mocha lattes with my mushroom coffee. So I put a little vanilla extract, a little Hershey's syrup, right? Because the boys made Sundays the other day. So we have Hershey syrup. So I've been putting a little Hershey syrup in it. Ooh, so good, so chocolatey. So it's like a chocolatey vanilla. You got a vanilla flavor. You got a little mocha flavor. And then you have like, and then I put a little, I put a vanilla creamer, very little vanilla creamer. And then, um, yeah, it's good. And then I'll do a little cinnamon over the top and some oat milk or almond milk. Or vanilla creamer so either or that's what i've been making my drinks with so what's going on y'all i was saying the other day i feel like talking like i felt like having a conversation so um nate said he wanted to um go live this weekend so i don't know we'll see yeah we'll see um but um I think I might go, I might go, I don't want to make a promise. I don't want to say it. I might go live this weekend, whether Nate joins me or not. But I just feel like I wanted to have like a talk to the comments, you know, talk to y'all through the comments type of situation. So, um, you know, the same shit that's been going on is going on um, down to the blogs. The people are, um, you know, sounding off and giving their opinions about what's going on with Puffy. I thought this tweet, I think this is from Carlos, actually. Shout out to Carlos Harris. He said, um, hold on. There he goes. Shout out to Carlos Harris. He said, Megan was shot and the large part of the community, quote, called her a liar, made jokes, and said she provoked her own abuse, etc. Diddy, who has a history of violence and sexual depravity, had his home raided and the community throw on capes to defend him. It's crazy. And like I said, like I said this morning on Twitter, I don't understand the large part of the black community's allegiance to degeneracy. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't think I'll ever understand it, but Carlos came back and he explained, black folks are so used to rooting for the underdog because of quote, the man, that now they root for the community villains to have free will like their straight white male counterparts did i say he ain't never lied i said that's it that's it you so root you so used to rooting for the underdog in opposition to the white man that now they want to behave like white men that you just are in support of it encourage it
<laughs> Rodney said Portia was engaged to Simon after a month of dating but is now saying she didn't know him. I remember you all were ecstatic when y'all saw their wedding photos and swore Portia had found true love even though he was legally married when they met. I can't make this shit up. Honestly. And she tried to say Tamron Hall was mean to her while asking her these questions. That girl never has any accountability. No one thought she found true love. Yes, y'all did. Y'all romanticism. Y'all, the, the ones who are stuck in romantic fantasy world, you guys did. We knew she married the money, but he didn't have no money. You married a scammer. No, you knew she married a scammer. So you was happy because she married a mon the money. She got to the money, even though she was a fully able-bodied, mature brain. And that where I'm using that loosely for Portia in this case. Fully able body adult with a mature brain. You with several jobs, you still needed to marry someone for the money. When I say you bitches act like you're in survival mode to have a grown male adult take care of you. Grow the fuck. I want y'all to grow the fuck up. Honestly, honestly, grow up grow up you're a grown woman grow up you are able-bodied you have a fully functional brain I, even though i feel like we're all on the spectrum somewhere somewhere but you have a fully mature functional are you highly functional well with portia's case i don't know but even still the quick to anger, the way that she operates, I don't know. It's something that probably needs to be evaluated, honestly. And then she's like really acting like she's the victim. She is not a victim. Portia is not a victim, y'all. She is not a victim. She wasn't in like, you, I mean, like, was she like, could she be comparable to like a Risa Tisa situation? Just, we're just gonna, Portia in Wonderland. We're just going to lolly, lolly, la. I'm going to marry this Nigerian scammer who was with another woman when I met him. When they did that fist bump, I feel like they already knew each other. I feel like they already knew each other. I do. Well, I mean, that's kind of the point. She fell quick before she got to know who he was. She knows. And no, that's not. She knew who he was. The Yelp reviews are out. Get the fuck out of here. She didn't, she didn't meet him and didn't know him. I'm, I'm curious to know what the fuck this quad have to say. She, she was, she, I don't know what the, about the people, but I know the people. I, I, I know the people and the people and the people. And he's a good person. Is he quad? Where's quad at? She been mighty quiet about Simon. Everybody knew who the fuck Simon was and his cousins and stuff like that. Didn't Portia have? A fucking Rolls Royce from his cousin? Wasn't she fucking his cousin? Or Rolls Royce? That's the Rolls Royce, the white Rolls Royce she was driving. Wasn't that a, a gift from his cousin? They know them motherfuckers. They all fly together to Ghana and shit. Everybody in, in Nigeria, they know. They know each other. Everybody Sheree be on them flights too. Everybody going down there acting like they trying to figure out who their ancestors are. No. Y'all just going down there to party. It's okay. Have fun. But y'all knew who the motherfuckers were. You knew they were scammers. And y'all was along for the ride as long as the money was there. She married for the money. But you quit your jobs, dummy. I'm telling you, Portia wants to write another coloring book upside down to tell y'all that she's been able to have an experience like this. But you could have had the experience without marrying him, tonta. You're so stupid. When I tell you that is like the stupidest woman that is on television right now among other stupid ass women. But the way that y'all be going up for her and it's like, she's not smart. When has it ever been okay for a little girl to sit on her mother's boyfriend's lap? When? 
Has it ever been okay? And Portia's around here doing it. It's like, oh, he is supposed to protect you. Shut the fuck up, dummy. You sound like a fucking idiot. He was supposed to protect you? You married a scammer and you knew you married a scammer. Just like you got married for, you was basically Cordell's beard. You fucking pretzel you. You morph into any fucking thing you need to be in order to, to mimic some shit that you don't even need. What are you doing? I thought he was, remember I told you on that, I watched two years ago, I posted a clip from two years ago talking about Portia and her, this thing with the family. I want a family, I'm fam. Any man is a family. Any man is a potential husband. Every man, every season, go back and watch every season of fucking the fucking Real Housewives. She always had a nigga, always trying to get him to have a baby, always trying to, oh, here's a baby contract and all this other dumb shit trying to make this mythical family that Diane failed to give her and her father. And then he ran off and went, got with Lauren's mother. And then you got poor, this PJ sitting on this man's lap. He's supposed to protect you. You don't even know this motherfucker. You don't even know if his last name is Bobadia. Stupid ass. You're dumb. No grace. I'm sorry. As you can tell, I have no grace for that lady at all you his yelp reviews were out you met him while he was married bitch no fucking grace none on top of i think you're dumb anyway and then you go and do this thank you for reaffirming what i already think about you you are dumb you might be pretty and got a mouth full of teeth and got an ass sitting on your on the back of your neck but you are not smart And no matter how beautiful you think you are, the brain is what matters because you are not smart at all. At fucking all. And y'all act, oh, love wins. And it's like literally how people will usher you in, they will run with you on Mr. Toad's wild ride. They will, and if you are in community with other women who are dizzy eyed and always got romance on the brain, trying to fulfill some childhood fantasy, running around here with they like chickens with their heads cut off. Portia had fucking three jobs, three jobs, and she quit them to run around town with a fucking Nigerian scammer, then married him, had her daughter sitting on his lap. Then they get divorced. He puts her ass out. He put your ass out. That's why he put your ass out. Next time, don't get married for a check. Hello, Kenya Moore from the past. That's why he put your ass out. Hold on, motherfucker. Hold on. I, I, where is that? That's why he put your raggedy, musty ass out. Stupid ass. How, how many times are you going to put PJ through this? How many times does PJ have to see you? Situation. You don't understand it because you haven't had that. Yes, I do, baby girl. Yes, I do. With your arranged marriage. I was not in a Okay, are you basically admitting that you were Cordell's beard? You are a Next time, don't get married of a check. You will have a husband, but until that happens, you can just shut up. All righty. I will be quiet, but that's just me with one below the belt, so you can have your floor. Girl, you can replay this scene. This is Story's life, uh, Portia's life today. Her fucking story today. The same fucking story. You put your ass out. How many times you gonna put PJ through that, girl? Like, not like her father's any different. He got the Declaration of Independence of Bitches' Names scrolled down his back. And Portia was on television saying, 
I licked those names. You licked the names. What was you doing? What was you licking on Simon to get to the money for 15 months? And now he talking about you had somebody over there with a gun. Oh, hood ass Portia. That's why them Williams don't fuck with you. Yeah, keep the last name Guabadia, girl. Keep the last name Guabadia. That's why them Williams don't fool with your ass. You out here running around Atlanta still trying to figure it out at 40 fucking two years old. Girl, if you don't figure it the fuck out, stop trying to run around here introducing PJ to all these different people having PJ sitting in somebody's lap Portia you're whack you been whack you forever gonna be whack you drip in with whack juice and you can't get it off shout out to cannabis girl everybody is they was talking about on um, Rodney's live last night talking about like all the people who know stuff about Puffy and the main person the main person that keeps popping up is Melissa Elliott She's the main person who keeps popping up. Let me tell you why. She's been around since the Uptown days. She's been around since Jodeci. She was on Jodeci's Diary of a Maya Band. She's been, a, she's been there from the be fucking getting. The beginning. I'm surprised her ass isn't, hasn't had any fucking bouts with death. Final destination ass lifestyle. The truth is, Missy has been around. She's been among all of them she's seen she's when i tell you that lady probably has some stories and because now listen to this and you it may it may sting a little bit it may sting a little bit but missy was not conventionally attractive back in the day she's dark skinned she dressed like a boy she was not trying to be attractive or desirable to men i don't know if she was trying to but she wasn't the vibe back then it, it, it's fine. It's okay. She looks great now. She lost weight. This, it, you know, she she's keeping her health together. It looks fine. But back in the day, she was not desirable. I don't care what you say. You can get mad. You can feel a certain way. But that is the truth. And when there is a woman around who presents a little masculine, is not attractive, or is the vibe of the time, the men feel a level of comfort being who they are in front of those women that they have they do not desire and they all they see you like a homeboy so she has been trust me she has seen some shit melissa has mary j blige another one they've known puffy since the beginning since the beginning It's a lot of people who have seen things, hasn't said anything. Well, like I, like I tell you, the everybody is a witness. Every When I tell you everybody is a witness, everybody that you see in, pro, in proximity, that's why they get so crazy when they see Oprah chilling and hanging out with Harvey Weinstein and chilling and hanging out and being at Jeffrey Epstein's parties and people being on Epstein's um, flight log and all that stuff. because you know what the fuck those men are doing because they've always done it especially television film and music especially where there are arts they are running amok and everything that they've told you is quote evil is what they are using to gain using it for gain period everything they told you was evil they are harnessing the energy of those symbols those words those phrases everything and using them for gain and harming people who are the most vulnerable in society this society children women People have stories. They've seen things. And the men are so arrogant and the women who help them, hello, Carisha, because I do believe 
Carisha acted as a young Ghislaine Maxwell, procuring women for sex trafficking. I believe that. Whether it's she's mentioned in there with 50 Cent's baby mama, I said, oh, that's why he stays on Puffy's ass. It's always about some pussy. As I look down and see a woman Drake and Future allegedly fighting over claims nobody is beefing over her. It's always about some pussy. Always. Don't let the smooth case fool you. 50 Cent been on Diddy's ass. No pun. He been on his ass. And we see Daphne Joy's name in the court records, in the documents. Oh, that's why you keep fucking with him. It's over some pussy. Got it. Talk about, oh, you was a sex worker. You know what the fuck she was doing over there. That's why you was always going at his head. How the fuck you take one of my bitches and then hoe her out, slut her out. Be mindful and why the girls think they're they going from, from dude to dude to dude. You know, those the, they are selling you and buying you. You think you, hey, you go with one rapper, you go with one rapper, you go with one rapper. The way that they are not, quote unquote, mad about it is because the other guy has talked to the other guy. And without your knowledge, he has paid the other guy to start talking to you. He has paid him off. He basically sold you to the next dude. You want to talk to her? You got to give me like a thousand dollars. I'm not going to be mad about it or whatever. I take her for a, take her for a stack. All right, nigga. Now I'm about to push up on her. And that's how the girls get quote passed around. And the girls think, oh, I'm going from nigga to nigga. They passing you around and you don't even know it. And money is being exchanged. You don't even know it. So that's just what it is. It's just what it is. And you got Portia over there acting like she's so. She Winter Blanco says Trey Songs allegedly assaulted her in 2018. He never did anything to me. And then one day he did. Trey Songs is one of those. Can I get a hug, niggas, from high school? He was always have his hands out like this. Nobody fucked with him. He was super corny. Even though he was a pretty boy, he was super corny. None of the girls really fucked with him. Now he has access to money. So instead of asking you for a hug, he just takes it. You're going to take it. And he's going to take it from you. I got to go, guys. I only came down here for a little while. I should have started a little earlier, but that's been tw about 23 mi minutes. Young Miami. Honey, remember when they was running up in Ghislaine Maxwell's How They act like they they don't do this stuff for uh, white people. Y'all don't remember the helicopters over Ghislaine Maxwell's house that she was hiding in. When she, girl, she was hiding in that house, ducking in a room and stuff like they could see her in the house. She was in the back of the house. And the helicopters was over her house. Girl, don't act like it's it's always a show. The perp walk is intentional. It is a show. That is purpose so that your community and the citizens can see that you have done something wrong. We're going to embarrass you. It's, part, it's, it's an effort to shame you and for everybody to see you. That's what the purpose of a perp walk is. Yes, all the cameras, come, come look. Come look. Somebody, a citizen of humanity has gone against the rules and regulations come see him come see him it's about to you damn right it's about to be a show it is like a show can't stop won't stop daphne joy and young miami allegedly receive a monthly fee from diddy to serve as his sex workers according to documents I mean, and the, another part of the thing, if it's consensual, if she's having consensual, consensual sex with him and he is paying her, I don't have a problem with that. But if you are around here helping him traffic, move people from state to state in order to have these parties and stuff like that, you're going to be in big trouble, home girl. So hopefully it was just a, 
I'm having sex with you when you come to town and you give me money and we go on trips and stuff like that. And I, I'm your girl Friday for the weekend. And, and we probably do stuff together, Daphne and my and Miami probably do stuff. They probably have threesomes and stuff like that. If it's consensual, I don't care. Like, I don't really care if you consensual, if y'all consent to have do drugs, if you consent to screw up against the wall, up against the Velcro wall, honey, hanging from the chandelier, bitch. If you got a gag in your mouth, if, you, if you're consenting to all that, I have no, I have, I, go do it. Have the experience. Love it. Enjoy it. Girl, I hope you reach levels you ain't never reached before. But if you are harming people and you are trafficking people and you are drugging people and they are unable to consent, I don't see it for you. I don't see it for you. Who's Jade? Young Miami Jade and Daphne Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs sex workers and received payment via wire transfer from Gr Robert Greenhill, which outlined defendants ongoing criminal operation. The 37 year old Instagram model who shares a son with Sire Je shares a son with 50 cent has been linked to the businessman for years. In 2022, she per posted a birthday tribute to Diddy. Daphne wrote, happy birthday to my favorite person, Diddy. She also shared what appeared to be a vacation photo alongside Diddy with the caption, blessed. And that what they do, that's how they do. They get everybody. Y'all haven't, y'all don't watch, y'all really don't watch mob films like envy talking about it's like a mob movie but that's how what they do they they start from the out the most outer people and they just work their way in to the target and that's what they're doing everybody around him brendan paul the drug mule young miami daffy joy all the people they getting all the people around you producers i'm getting all then we're gonna zero in on your ass we're gonna bring everything back to you i'll be sure posted something online telling um Quincy to come home. Come home. You y'all can come home now. The party is over, girl. The party, the fucking party is over. Let's see how your access to pussy is going to fare when your dad's money is wrung dry. So, go home to to your family where you're safe. Cuz I I do imagine that they were involved, uh, you know, or participated in these things i do believe that um let's see hold on i believe trey what what winter said about trey songs i believe her safari accepts his mandingo hall of fame award on the jason jason lee show that's all they were is penis that's it that's that's and dick is a plenty and of low value when it's available just willy-nilly you can run outside and sit on one anyone there's no value in that what is scarce typically has the value typically holds the value what's scarce anyways y'all i gotta go take care of each other protect your energy let's get down in the comments peace